Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 11th of 2023 well, it is titled a North Star Polaris and surrounding dust. So what do we see here? Well, this is the star Polaris and it is called sometimes called the North Star. And that is because it happens to be located very close to the direction of the North Celestial Pole in the sky. The North Celestial Pole would be the extension of Earth's rotational axis out into space and where it would appear to strike the celestial sphere and everything in the sky would seem to rotate around it. Now Polaris is not exactly at that point. It's a little bit off, but it does help to identify it because otherwise that point would be invisible. And for those living in the southern hemisphere, there is a south celestial pole. However, there is not currently a bright star near that location to help its identification. There are still ways to find it, but it's not as easy as having a relatively bright star there. Now that changes and Polaris will not always be the bright brightest bright star near the pole because the pole wanders because the earth undergoes precession. It spins like a top. So while the earth spins on its axis, the axis slowly processes every 26,000 years and will move around different areas in the sky. So that a while ago, Vega, one of the very bright stars in the sky was actually relatively close to the pole. Now it is also not uh, Polaris is not the brightest star in the sky by any sense. It is maybe about the 50th brightest star. So there are nearly 50 stars brighter than Polaris visible in the sky. It is important not because it's an extremely bright star because it's a relatively bright star that happens to be located in a specific space that has made it useful to navigation over the years. Being able to determine your latitude by looking at where Polaris was made it very much easier to navigate across the oceans before we had current technology and GPS and satellites that could help us with that navigation. So the only thing you had was the stars to sail by and that would have been Polaris would have been a very important one of these that was used. Now we don't just see Polaris here we see a lot of dust scattered around it so looking at hundreds of different exposures combined together to see what we call the integrated flux nebula which is all over here and is a scattering of dust all around this region of the sky. We also see a globular star cluster off to the left here. In fact, if you trace a line from Polaris almost straight left, you will see a small globular cl star cluster known as NGC 188. Now globular star clusters are among the oldest parts of our galaxy. So some of the first things to form within our galaxy and can be 12 or 13 billion years old. So here we get to see not only Polaris, but the dust dust around it, as well as a globular star cluster. So that was our picture of the day for April 11th of 2023. It was titled North Star Polaris and surrounding dust. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.